hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for the new subscribers that i've gotten and also for my returning subscribers thank you so much i appreciate you so let's get started <laughs> so as you guys can remember i put a pop-up on my instagram asking you guys what you'd like to know about me because i realized i just started posting videos without a proper introduction so yeah we are getting into it right now and also you guys for the first time in i don't know how long i have applied eyeshadow i don't believe this but i look gorgeous and yeah i don't know why i don't apply it but anyways i'll get started with just a general introduction most of the questions that were asked weren't really like um i see what's your name what do you do you know so i'm gonna start with that and then i move on to the questions that you guys asked me uh so basically i am maria marietta or actually marietta is my baptism name and uh, my official names that are in my id is maria machocho moshigadi yeah maria machocho moshigadi i'm taita from the names if you know taitas you can tell um okay so i'm 20 currently but i'm turning 21 on april 1st so april 1st is my birthday you guys i'm so happy i can't wait um okay so um i'm currently 20 as i've said i was born and raised in mombasa my parents live in mombasa majority of my family live in mombasa and i just came to nairobi because of school um i'm currently in jquat main campus and i'm doing bachelor of medicine and surgery uh and i'm in third year second semester and trust me it's tough but nakazana um so another thing um i'm a last born well it's complicated so um i really don't want to talk much about my family but well i am a last born to my dad and i'm second last one to my mom so my parents separated when i was very young and uh yeah my mom got another kid who i love so much my brother he's my soul gosh yeah so that's that with my family and then um what else i have an elder sister who i love so much and she watches my vlogs and she told me that i have potential so <laughs> But anyways yeah and then um i have an elder brother i mean um what else what else what do i like doing um i love scrolling on tiktok if that was a hobby that would definitely be my hobby i would scroll on tiktok i can scroll on tiktok for a whole day not a whole day that's no not a whole day but you, you get the point yes i can scroll on tiktok a lot and then i also love swimming i love eating oh my gosh i love eating and i'm not even gonna lie you know no one should make you feel bad because you love eating yeah so and i love eating a lot of junk unfortunately but i also love cooking so i guess i'm the perfect <laughs> okay anyways i love cooking of course i'm born and raised in mombasa i mean by a swahili mom you guys yeah mm -hmm. so if i think of any other general introduction question i will try to answer before the end of the video but i would like to start with the questions that you guys asked me and i'm going to be using my laptop i sent the screenshots of the questions to my best friend so that i can read for you guys because i have only one phone yeah so i'm gonna be reading them so someone asked how old are you well i've just answered that i'm 20 but i'm turning 21 very soon very very soon <laughs> yeah 
um i need a get ready with me wow i didn't think that you guys might want that because i'm not really much of a makeup enthusiast or makeup guru but but getting ready doesn't necessarily entail makeup mm -hmm. i will i will i will think about that and maybe one of these days <laughs> i will do something for you guys i hope you guys view my videos though because i mean if you don't view i'm gonna be a sad baby <laughs> i'm not high by the way you guys i'm not okay let me continue yeah so i will shoot uh get ready with me one of these days maybe when i'm free and i'm going out somewhere and i have time i will do it just as long as you guys view my videos and share them i will do it thank you okay skincare routine oh my god well minimum you guys um i'm such a bare minimum chick gosh no offense like well your girl here doesn't have okay i do have products that i apply on my face but i wouldn't necessarily call that a skincare routine it's not a proper skincare routine by the way but 2023 is my year this is the year that i'm going to buy skincare products and take care of my skin but i usually usually don't have many problems with my skin i think that's why i don't really focus much i mean if you ask me about outfits or about fashion i would deliver but okay tajaribu tajaribu um i will do like a skincare i will post something that i mean sorry i will post the skincare routine that i currently use and then um, as I go on adding products, I will continue updating you guys. Okay. Upload more on your YouTube, please. I love your content. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you guys. I like that. Kume mnani penda? Kume na pendwa? Force. Sure. Hmm. I, I I saw somewhere at another like this some guys were just reading tweets on YouTube. Uh no on Twitter, but they post like their videos on TikTok. I think I'll link them here. I really love their videos. Uh, one of them was saying at you, what is a red flag in a lady? Which is your biggest red flag? And then guess what? At when she has a struggling YouTube channel, a struggling YouTube channel, you guys. Oh my God, Aki. Nisawa too, So mimi ni red flag, but I mean, but don't append though. But don't append so. But anyways, yeah. So thank you guys. I will try to upload more definitely i will and as time goes you guys just grow with me and trust me you will enjoy please mm, i love you okay this is a very long question i can't see clearly um how is your love life and how can i avoid peer pressure in school especially with valentine's coming up oh my god oh well part a of the question <laughs> how is your love life my love life is okay <laughs> how do you describe your love life honestly how um my love life is okay it's better than it has ever been by the way I'm so happy. You guys did all that, guys. <laughs> no offense, for real. Like, okay, kuna some of them who will just bore you. I swear. But um, me just realized that I cannot date someone who is my age, and me accept, and I moved. So, and this guy, 
he's so sweet so romantic he's the sweetest so my love life is good good better than it has ever been i feel like when i date someone who's my age i no offense but i feel like i'm mature kind of so um kuna vitu tu mtu ufanya zina nibuu and i'm like ay kwani we ni mtoi you know like why are you thinking like that or why are you doing that ama ama like these guys who get unnecessarily like dramatic is on you okay okay no that's that's lame and i wouldn't ever entertain that so yeah so i like my mane a bit older than me and trust me life is good yeah so my love life is okay and then um how can i avoid peer pressure in school especially with valentines coming up hmm wah me by them is jay for the pressure at him turn any pressure i think okay kuna pressure me upata me yeah, like when someone buys like a new iphone latest iphone i mean everyone gets that i'm an mini pke so when someone like like bro i'm at iphone 8 8 home to and akuja and a pop up na 13 pro max like ato ungepata 13 uliamua to 13 pro max yeah so yeah mu pata pressure ya yeah, such things like hmm. oh but I, i get it you can get pressure like peer pressure or like you can sometimes feel some type of way uh when you see people getting their boyfriends buying them stuff flowers taking them for trips i get it now you can get the pressure and i feel like how to avoid um hmm. i think you should just like <laughs> oh my god this is so hard because i also like sometimes get pressure and it's so crazy um hmm. okay i think i think basically you should just stay in your space the moment you learn that this thing triggers me this thing you know it affects me in some kind of way just try as much as possible to avoid so like come on valentines by the way and you know you don't have someone or you're not expecting something from someone just avoid the internet you know mbona ujitese by the way willingly like how ja force you are you get you've not been forced so you can just avoid the, avoid the internet like si must you see ku wende tao unajua tao wa in fact i'm going to town tomorrow um, i know my god flowers are going to be everywhere <laughs> but anyways me ata si jaulizo will you be my valentine so i don't know how things are going but tutaona tu so yeah i think you should just avoid that space because it's negative for you at that particular time and then also just um if you have a boyfriend i think you should just do something special with your boyfriend um to keep your mind off of other people you know you know what's special for you you know what you want and you know what's enough for you you don't have to compare because we're all at different stages in life you know eh uh, like kuna mtu ata surprise ana bouquet na maybe a surprise trip um na you know like cash a lot of cash and kuna mtu ata ku surprise na just a rose and it's so sweet you know sometimes when you look at the effort and also um you just compare sometimes you see who see jk pressure sana you know we are getting there slowly by slowly but i manage to everything is going to be fine yeah okay so next question how do you edit your videos oh my god can you make videos are that good <laughs> oh my god uh, hmm. how do you edit your videos I think my videos are good. Well, but thank you first of all for saying my videos are good in an indirect manner. But 
um, I use CapCut, CapCut the app, and I've still not completely learned how to edit. So I feel like it's such a good thing for you guys to tell me that I I edit well, <laughs> even though I'm just normal. But you know, when someone asks you how how do you edit your videos, it means like they would want to edit like you do. Okay, so. Um, uh, basically for me I just use CapCut I watch a lot of YouTube tutorials on like if I want to introduce a new feature if I want to try out something new I just YouTube I just watch tutorials on CapCut I use CapCut and um, for my music I still get it in CapCut um, also uh, one thing I really learned from my last video by the way I've, I've posted up three videos and of those three videos two have copyright claims so um i figured on the last video that i've just post posted my most recent video uh what you should do you should just give credit to the creators of the music that you've used in the description box and if you do that you'll avoid a copyright claim yeah that's a, pr a common problem with youtubers and i just feel like i should just let you guys know so if you are a youtuber and you want to avoid such you can just look at my description box for my last videos and also for this one i will have linked not linked like given credit to the specific creators of the music and then also um okay let me go back to editing um i'm not really good at editing yet and i'm getting better you know like this growth there must be growth so i feel like i learn new things by watching a lot of videos and um by watching a lot of videos and and learning like if i see something in a youtube in a youtube video i would want to you know know how it's done so i will youtube it i will go for the tutorial yeah and then i think i might post something um um one day on how i edit like a complete tutorial on how like the basics to editing but as for now that's all i can tell you i use CapCut and yeah if you have any question that is a bit more specific on like what features you know you can just ask me on my dms yes i will put my instagram or you can ask in the comments okay let me go to the next question which high school were you in i was in bunyore girls high school bunyore bunyore of the luyas of the abanyore <laughs> Yeah, I was in Bunyore Girls High School. No comment. <laughs> but at the end of the day, thank God I passed and I managed to get into a good course. And yeah, that's in the history. I'm not saying that Bunyore is a bad school, but Bunyore is actually a good school. I enjoyed my time, apart from some few hitches here and there, problems. But in a joy, all high schools are like that. You cannot just have a smooth high school journey unless you go to like Brooke House or you know, those international schools and <laughs> yeah, so let me go to the next question. Do you love me? That's Ndela. <laughs> Ndela, I love you so much. I love you. Even though you don't love me, I love you. Eh, Valentine's VP. <laughs> Where eh, you guys? I'm taken. Okay, I'm I'm taken. Okay, um me I have no plans for Valentine's. Imagine. And it's I'm shooting this video on Saturday. No, it's Friday. Valentine's is on, on Tuesday. I don't have any plans so far. But to turn and to how things go and eh, Mimi by them not much like as long as you give me my gift and mm, as long as you gift me and I gift you it's not really a big thing yeah okay do you live in Juja or you commute I live in Juja as I've said my parents live in Mombasa I was born and raised in Mombasa so there's no way I can commute so I had to come and live permanently in Juja for my six years as I'm in school. 
um something you wish your high school self knew earlier oh my god you guys with these questions jesus <sighs> something you wish your high school self knew earlier i think um things get better things always get better like you know in high school i'm from a very very humble background and uh, you're so used to you know being um at home then imagine going to high school and it was a national school so you are combined with people from very rich families very rich families and uh, not even like necessarily that rich but you know rich families um and like it's just crazy because you're so used to you know like you've been brought up the things that you have in your home like you appreciate them you're like mm. but now you go outside there and meet oh my god so yeah so i wish my high school self knew that would know that things always get better one thing i usually thank god for and i usually every every time like almost every day i just stop for a moment and i could be doing the most random thing and then i just imagine how i didn't used to have that thing i didn't used to enjoy that it was a privilege and right now i have it and it's like it's nothing so things get better things will always get better you know Mm. so yeah i wish my high school self could stop a bit like comparing herself too much to other people because it reaches a point where you even um you never know like table turn, you could reach a point in life where you're even better than the person you used to look up to and be like oh wow she has everything in order she any she just has everything but now yeah things get better you get you can get to a point where even the things that you used to pray for and see in other people and wish they shows you you are gonna imagine now let me tell you one thing about me mm, this is a bit too personal i don't know it's nothing major though uh growing up uh you know in school there are always this group of cool girls yeah <laughs> okay so um like they used to have uh phones smartphones they used to have instagram followers a lot a lot and that time like a thousand followers was a lot to me <laughs> because i didn't even have an account maybe i opened my instagram account after high school so I used to be like, wow, what kind of smartphones? They meet their boyfriends. You guys, when they're home, they have boyfriends. Like they, they go for concerts. They go for events. They, they have the coolest outfits. You guys, I love so na kumbuka your style ya ukoma twenty eighteen. You know, ah, I used to be like, eh, must be nice. <laughs> Because me at that time, I remember in high school, I only used to have a tablet that, oh my god, you guys, your tablet you require CG Nitonga Safari Communion Kitukayo. And I don't, I, I don't think it could have WhatsApp or, no, I think I used to have a Microsoft phone in it whatsapp so i wasn't on any social media yani ukona tablet kona smartphone but wezi alafu usikuwa na jua ig or time so kona tunaona eh au watu siji opening day wamekuja na mafon zao they show us their whatever they did eh lakini hakuna place inakupanga pressure ka high school Swear. Job by the time of the campus, no Zoya. Yeah. Yeah, so hey, hey, but now like when you look at these things, I'm checking them out. Like Kamani outfits. 
okay i'm not where i want to be but i'm better like i have these outfits i have good outfits that i can pop up anywhere and people just tell me i look good and i go to events like it's not i don't take it for granted because i know like the old me didn't have that so i really appreciate and yeah it gets better well you may quite emotional but anyways <sighs> Oh, what do you love about yourself and how do you usually go about a bad situation? I don't know what a bad situation means. Is that text continuing? I don't think it's continuing. Like that's the end of the statement. So, what do you love about yourself? I'm, I'm assuming the, the thing I love the most about myself. And for me, um so yeah what do you love about yourself um hmm. i will just name a few things because i love so many things about myself okay so first of all i really like that um i'm a really like uh, nonchalant or don't care person which is to my advantage i i, I care about important things but I don't care about things that are not important. So I would not waste my time trying to, uh, you know, gossip or talk about what's happening to this one at his degree. Yeah, yeah, I gonna this and this and this. I don't do that shit. And um, I don't give a fuck, basically. Like, if it's none of my business, count me out. Count me out. And then I also don't care in the sense that if people are trying to make fun of me, let me tell you guys, medicine kama when ni mrembo ni shida. Okay, I'm not really, of course I'm beautiful and beautifully made. So doing medicine sometimes gets difficult when you're pretty because people have these standards of like medicine students should look this way and not this way. So when they see you, they try to, you know, belittle you and be like where are you maliza kweli? you know like things that don't make sense but you guys maybe one thing i thank god for is my parents my parents raised me well let me tell you my parents raised me so well in that like there's nothing that someone could say that would push me down and then in fact high school like even boosted my confidence in that you know in high school i used to get a lot of criticism from people and people make mistakes so just because you may find it doesn't mean to find your exam and fail just because i'm pretty doesn't mean to find your medicine that's to manage you get um it's it's just crazy so me what i usually do like that criticism that people try to bring in my life i just use it to my advantage i trust me i'm a positive criticism person I take criticism positively more than negatively. I'm not. You're not gonna tell me if I'm gonna finish school just because I, I'm pretty. You're, no, you're not gonna try to belittle me. And then I go to my place and I'm crying at you because he told me. Because by the way, most guys, no offense, no offense. Most guys. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> But ah, we don't give a fuck. Okay, let me continue. Another thing that I really love about myself is that I'm really all round. And even my close friends will tell you, like, there's nothing I can put in my head and tell myself I'm, I'm gonna do it and I won't do it. Like, I can do almost everything. Okay, not like it sounds kind of weird, but like I'm a person who is a jack of all trades and that I can do quite a lot and do exemplary well in that much that I'm doing. Yeah, that's another thing that I love about myself and I thank God for because, yeah, it's not in everyone, so it's a blessing. Um, I also love that. I'm a really good person and I usually consider people's feelings and emotions and there are things I don't do to people because I know I'm like if they were done to me I would feel so bad so I usually like to consider people's feelings 
and uh, yeah and also another thing that i love about myself is that i don't need people to function like do you know like the society we live in today um there are people who just can't do things for themselves and me i'm more of like i need myself to function i don't want other people i can stay by myself and thrive seriously yeah so that, those are the things i really love about myself and how do i usually go about a bad situation a bad situation like let's say for example maybe something bad happened and i feel bad what i usually do when i feel bad it depends on like the severity like if it's something really bad um of course you cry everyone cries i'll cry probably sleep and then wake up mostly i'll tend to be very unproductive if something bad has happened but i usually try to listen to music good music and also like i love doing like romanticizing just like the littlest of things so if i'm going through shit and trust me i'm gonna cook myself a really good meal probably i've not been cooking the whole week but that specific day i will cook something good for myself and just appreciate myself and if something bad has also happened like uh, I'm a person who like some okay sometimes I I I can't be the bigger person but sometimes I'm not um I try to be the bigger person but when I feel like I can't I'm the kind of person who really tends to like disappear if I'm going through shit I will go back into my cocoon and just stay there until i'm okay i don't like telling people my problems unless you're my best friend i'm not gonna tell you my problems but yeah there's something in my eye that's why i keep on checking yeah but that's basically what i do on bad situations and i also some especially when it's bad i really pray like i pray to god i ask him for guidance and I ask him to be with me to lead my way and everything usually works out for me yeah so one thing for me like I don't remember the last time something really bad happened apart from easy heartbreaks in Dogondoko Sunaja to Nairobi yeah but I don't remember the last time something bad happened to me hmm. What's your self sabotage character? Why are you asking such difficult questions that I don't think I even know about myself, y'all? Gosh, Missy Jui. <laughs> self sabotage character. Mm -hmm. I think I tend to. Um, what is it called? Uh, it's called self something okay let me try to explain it because i don't remember the actual word but like if i'm going through something i always this not gosh um if i'm going through something i would just separate myself from everything else that's going on in my life my friends my family my boyfriend like i like staying alone when i'm going through shit like i think high school has affected me in some type of way because in high school when i used to go through a lot of uh when i used to go through problems like issues i'm a bit i used to have this facade like everyone thinks this girl is a strong girl she's this and that like i go very strong and i used to think that that's what people used to think about me and i still think the same so i cannot i don't want to be seen as weak 
if I have issues, I would rather just stay by myself until I'm able to solve them. Then maybe it will pop up later in future. Like, oh yeah, I wasn't okay the other time. Yeah, imagine. So I like to be seen as weak, as strong. And unfortunately, I think, I, I think that that can qualify as a self-sabotage character. Yeah, because sometimes you might tend to um, separate yourself and actually you need that environment of your loved ones, people who love you to thrive and to actually heal. And I do the opposite. We need to do a closet sale. <laughs> well, you guys. A jamani. <laughs> a closet sale. Hmm. I can. But actually, when I moved into this house that I'm living, I gave out most of my old clothes. So most of the clothes that I have here are clothes that I wear randomly. Like, um... But yeah, I could because there's some few clothes that I don't wear. But yeah, so I think I might do a closet sale if I find clothes that I don't wear. And of course, yeah, I'm with a queer for the ball. So, you know, you guys stay tuned on my Instagram and I'll put it down below here. Yes, I'll put it there. So yeah, you guys go view. Uh, Nikki on a closet sale, I'll let you guys know. Why you chose medicine looking so adventurous and how do you balance? Wait, can you medical students are not supposed to be adventurous? Am I the problem? Well, well, well. I chose medicine because I've always wanted to do medicine. Always. Like ever since I was a little girl trust me like you can ask anyone of my family that and they will tell you i've always wanted to do medicine i've always wanted to be a surgeon you know when you're a kid you're like oh, me, i want to be a surgeon i want to be a pilot you won't say i want to do medicine so i've always wanted to be a surgeon when, from when i was young um cardiologist actually that was the word <laughs> yeah so I've, it has been a passion that's always there there's nothing that has influenced me at just recently at I just woke up and decided I'm going to do medicine. No. It has just been a passion and I feel like it's because I've been raised in such a family. Like my dad also practices medicine and uh, I feel like I like interacting. Okay, in as much as I'm very introverted by the way, I like interacting with people and helping people out. So I would definitely want to do something related to hospitality and just caring for people and that would be medicine for me because it's something i've always wanted to do and um, yeah basically that's why i chose medicine looking so adventurous of course um, i'm very actually I started becoming adventurous in campus <laughs> in high school i was a very like relaxed settled down girl but i'm very adventurous um and the fact that I'm adventurous doesn't mean I can't do medicine. You get like people like have this um, mentality, and but the, there are many doctors who travel a lot. Actually, doctors travel a lot. Specialists they travel a lot. If you follow m most of these doctors and interact with a lot of doctors, they travel. They do all these things. So I think that's just our mentality. And also, like for me, how I balance is that like I would not want to travel when um, I know it's going to interfere with my schedule or you know it's going to interfere with uh, my studying so I would not do things that will sort of like end up not to be in my favor so most of the times I could be traveling and I've carried books imagine don't let social media fool you <laughs> like no beba books but not a lot like just a few like maybe two and I just go through some few things because most of the times when I'm traveling, I'm usually with my boyfriend. And, um, well, that's TMI. But there's usually a lot of free time. 
yeah so most of the free time if you follow me you'll see like most of the times i go to naivasha i end up going to like java or you know the mall and just study there the whole day so it's just balance baby balance yeah hmm. but then i'm gonna be strong some ati okay that's tmi that's tmi but i think the questions are over i'm sorry guys this has taken so long but at least we've gotten to interact and if you have anything that you want to ask if you want to have anything that you want to know about me you know you can always ask in the comments or in my dms you can just ask me anything that you want to know and uh, uh, i think i've answered all the questions today what with my honest truth yeah i've really tried to answer like as much as as honestly as i could so guys thank you so much for watching and uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and i hope you guys are going to interact with my content so that i continue posting more i i think i thank you so much for the feedback that i'm getting that you guys are enjoying my videos um from my last video i got so many people telling me they watched the entire video which is very nice for me as a creator because i feel like someone actually took their time to watch my video and just finish it like it's so sweet because even me as like a normal person i could just be watching a video and just you know move to the next see at you may foresee what watch but like for someone to just watch your video from beginning to end that's really sweet and i really appreciate you guys for that and you can continue sharing my videos you can continue liking and commenting and um you know just let's grow together and you guys by the way let me just tell you something i'm currently at like 170 subscribers and okay no pressure for me i feel like things always will fall into place you know but i really like to get to like 500 subscribers you guys so please let's just try to get me to 500 for now um and i will really appreciate you guys if you share and just subscribe 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 what's going on watch now just subscribe please yeah otherwise thank you guys so much for watching my video and uh, another vlog i think i'll be posting up another vlog very soon because i've been shooting for another vlog but yeah so keep no stay tuned for that yeah i'll be posting another vlog very soon otherwise thank you guys for watching my video thank you guys for staying throughout and thank you even for the questions that you guys asked me the fact that you guys want to know about me is so sweet and i don't take that for granted thank you so much and um any question that i have not you feel like i've not completely answered like i've not answered how you do have wanted me to answer you can just text me or you can just you know dm me or comment thank you for watching and have a wonderful weekend Bye.